Hi, and welcome back to Multi-Step Equations, Day 2. And just to review briefly, multi-step equations means we're talking that there's more than two steps. So in this case, um, or in all multi-step equations, we're trying to get x by itself. We're going to use inverse operations. The inverse operations are plus and minus, minus and plus, and then multiplying and dividing, dividing and multiplying. So let's get into some examples because these are a little, there's a lot of stuff going on in these examples. So <clears throat> let's start here. Let me just move this up a little bit. Okay. So we're trying to eliminate things and I want to eliminate this four first. So I'm going to subtract four from both sides. As long as I do it on both sides, it stays balanced. So this becomes zero, I'm left with 2x on this side of our new equation. And then here, uh, 19 minus four is 15. So we have negative x plus 15. Now, I want to eliminate this. So negative x means negative one x. So I'm just gonna add an x and that makes zero. And then I'm gonna add an x here. 2x's plus 1x is 3x. So don't forget about that, that when there's just 1x, it means 1x, even though there's not a 1 in front of it. And then on this side, we're left with 15. Our last operation that we have to like undo, untie, you know, get so that we can get x by itself to eliminate that 3 is we're going to divide by 3 because this is multiplying by 3. We have to do it to the other side to keep it balanced. 15 divided by three is five, okay? Take a second for that, and let's go to our next one. The only thing that we're doing different today than we did yesterday is we are having some negatives on the variables, so. Okay, so once again, I like to start with the not variable number, you can start with either one. Let's just start with the other one, just to see, to show you that it does work. So if I wanna get rid of negative three, then I add three to both sides. Okay, this will be six X minus five, because we didn't do anything to that. Negative three plus three is zero, so we're left with the seven. Now this is the one we wanna get away, we want to get rid of it, eliminate it. So we're going to add five to make that zero and add five over here. So that's zero, we're left with six X equals five plus seven, which is 12. Our last operation that we're going to do the inverse of is multiplying. So we're going to do the inverse, which is dividing. So we're going to divide both sides by six and X equals two. Ta-da! So yeah, that is multiplying, or sorry, solving multi-step equations when one of the variables has a negative number. Good luck, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.